Well, good day and welcome back. Today we have a 2023 Zinger 340RE. I'm gonna zip around the exterior really quick just because there's not a whole lot to see on this one. Uh, it's got most of it going on in the interior. I would like to point out that it does have two awnings, uh, LED light strips underneath them, super cool. This one is sold, it is going to a permanent site. Does have power stabilizers there. Power tongue jack up front. Does have the battery disconnect. We've got the battery in the box all set and ready to go. Nice front graphics. There is a little bit of exterior storage. Not a whole heck of a lot. Um, it is prepped for uh, an inverter and of course solar. Uh, this is under the bed, another little storage compartment. It's kind of all it's got from uh, an exterior storage standpoint. There is an exterior shower here. Tank dumps right down there, kind of all in a nifty little place. Does have an on-demand water heater, so no tank. And we'll just kind of zip around. Water connections, quick drain, ladder to get up on the roof, back up uh, camera prepped, cable satellite, spare tire, LED, marker lights, all of that good stuff. Now uh, we've got the dual awnings, exterior speakers, and of course the solid step entry here. Uh, there is a leash latch here so you can tie your dog up or uh, heck I've seen cats done so uh, moving right on in. This is where it all happens. Dual opposing slides so it opens up the living space a lot and then of course uh, right over here more kitchen counter space it does have this wine chiller down here super cool uh, control panel is right here as you enter i'm gonna click my little light on here give us a little bit more of a, a view nice huge storage nice clear glass doors kind of nice that way huge pantry storage Nice drawer down below. I don't know if you guys uh, notice this on the exterior side, but this is a classic gas electric RV fridge and freezer. So, they are still being made on some campers. Uh, moving right along. A little light down here is an on. We'll click that in. Do get a three burner stove, exhaust fan, microwave is up top. This is actually a lot lower of a microwave than most. So if you are, uh, we'll say, vertically challenged, you will have a much easier job of uh, fitting into that. Ovens are pretty standard. Little cubby down here. And again, storage is the name of the game on this one. Jeez, it pulls out far. Little goodie bag, all that good stuff. It does have an electric fireplace. Of course, it doubles as a heater. Sound bar entertainment. Television is hanging out right here. Does have this uh, pivoting system to move out. And then there is, again, a ton of storage. Um, any of those outlets uh, with those little yellow stickers on, if you added an inverter, they would run off of the battery at that point. So it's all prepped and ready to rock and roll. Before I get too far away from the center island, I'll point out there are nifty little stools here and I didn't want to forget to show you the storage down here as well sink nice sink covers dual weld stainless sink this thing does pop down you do get a selection of you know how you want your sprayer to shoot out is it going to be double sprayer or is it going to be a uh, well stream or spray I suppose would be the answers Nice blue glow up here. Um, if this wasn't in the shop, I would have these windows open maybe if the light wasn't terrible out, but there is a ton of natural lighting that will flood into here when you guys uh, are out camping. Very nice usage of space up there. You can uh, put the stools down here for travel. 
It's kind of a nifty little area. This just uh, jackknifes down like a futon would. Dual recliners over here. I suppose I didn't even show you that there is storage in this little cubby here. So, again, utilizing all the space. Power, power outlets on both sides. And again, back to our recliners. You do have light switches up here that control all the lights. Nice and bright. USB uh, power right in the middle of it. Freestanding dinette. So ready to rock and roll there. Um, on this side, there is a second stool so you do get two of them kind of sit down eat your breakfast dinner whatnot on your little countertop this is what she looks like back looking forward um, it does have a few options on this one that's going to set it apart other than the fireplace it does have two acs so there is one back here and then if we move to the front, turn all of our lights on, there is one in here as well in the bedroom. Bedroom, very, very spacious. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to end the video on the bed on the bathroom just because I just knew. Anyway, John's at a nice angle. You should be able to fit in there just fine, even for us bigger folk. Again, storage everywhere. Really, really uh, nice oversized shower basin. There is a higher lip on here. If you can kind of, my camera's trying to fight with me, but there's actually a higher lip than normal. So hopefully that shower curtain doesn't flop up and around. Sky vent up here. Of course, you can open it up and get all that humidity out so it doesn't get steep and stay stuck in your camper. These those yellow, little yellow stickers I'm speaking of. Play switch her in here so you're not manually hitting buttons which is super awesome medicine cabinets nice and easy and now let's go on to the bedroom um, I would like to point out and I'll open these up for you these windows are here they do open their screens you can use them for airflow most of the campers uh, you'll see they'll have windows in the bedroom there but they do not open they're just there little pocket door on the side here Nice big bed, power outlet hanging out down there. Little shelves to put your phones and whatnot. There is a USB plug-in port above that shelf right there. That's what that little black thing is. Decent storage up top. Uh, we'll call this a dresser. It is prepped for uh, putting a television up here. Again, just another place for storage. They do a good job there. Um, this is a huge closet, prepped for washer and dryer. Whether you add one, obviously up to you. Dryer vent location, all that good stuff. Shelf up top, nice light. So if you don't use that for a washer dryer, you've got a ton of space. Front cozy cabinet, plenty of hanging storage. Again, if I was doing my job, I'd turn the light on. But again, very, very useful space down below. Nifty shelf up top, plenty of items, plenty of things. There is that 12 volt plug there. Uh, this appears to be a king size bed. And underneath, plenty of storage. Um, it's not quite partitioned, but of course the bed stabilized that way. So if you wanted to add a his and her side, you could do it. I do like the shocks on the side. Holds the bed up and of course sucks it back down. AC in here is a pretty straightforward unit. Simple hand controls. Um, again, very, very straightforward. Not a whole lot to it. Open and close a couple vents and levers and louvers and doing your thing, but it'll definitely help keep your sleeping area much, much cooler than maybe the rest of the room. Um, that is this unit as a whole. Uh, I suppose I should point out that this is where your uh, tankless water heater is controlled. It's kind of one of those set it and forget it kind of things. You'll find what temperature you like and it'll work just fine. Other than that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just let me know.